what is good youtube we got another tutorial going on today this one is a fresh mid fold fade that i'm doing my client with a beard fade he is only a 19 years old and he's got a dope beard to be honest we start the haircut with combing through the hair getting it all evenly laid and like i said we're doing a mid bald fade so we're doing it with no c cup taking it from the bottom of his vertical bar and following that all the way back contouring it towards the shape of his head we're doing the same to the other side and connecting those two in the middle then we're going to go ahead and take down the bulb balding him out with my gamma trimmers this does have the p3 blade on there which is a modified blade gets it nice and close And after this, we're going to go ahead and follow up with the shaver. So now for the first guideline, we're taking our one and a half guard closed, and we're gonna take that up a little bit below where the parietal ridge is, just so that we have enough room to do clipper over comb later. These are the gamma clippers I'm using as well. These are coming out soon, stay tuned for 2020. Next, we're grabbing the half guard closed, and we're making another about half inch guideline. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up the lever a little bit more, and go up just a tad more, just touching that line. And after that, we will go ahead and open it up completely. And after this, we're gonna move on to the one guard, and same steps. All the way closed. Halfway. And then we're gonna go fully open and each time we're opening up the lever, we're moving up about a quarter of an inch up. After this, I'm going to be taking another section on the top of the head, a little bit above the parietal ridge where the head's bending. I'm going to go ahead and clip over comb all that, just to keep a square look, keep me enough length on the side of what I could blend into. And with this comb, you know, it's going to blend pretty much with that one and a half guard. You're gonna have to go back with the one guard open just to take away some dark areas. And that's what I'm doing right here. Got the one and a half guard, or the one guard opened. I'm just using corner and really just hitting those dark spots. I'm gonna go ahead and just line up the, the vertical bar just so I can have a clear, clear look at the canvas and see where, you know, where the dark spots are, what I need to touch up more. Make sure to always clean off your client as well. Now we're doing completely closed on the clipper and we're gonna hit that bottom line. Open up a little bit halfway, just keep working on the way up. And we're gonna do blade completely open. After this, you know, we're just gonna have a lot of detail work. The fading system is just to get through real quick, get your rough draft down. And then after you finish that, you go into your detail. You know what steps you left off, you know where you did the one guard, you know where the, you did the half guard. So after that, you just detail, use a lot of corner, use a lot of picking to really bring that blend together. Because everyone has you know different head shapes, different hair textures, divots in their hair, divots in their head, my bad. It's pretty much all shading. You want to make sure that everything has a nice shade going from light to dark. And you do that by using a lot of corner and a lot of detail work. Now moving on to the beard. We are doing a number two on the beard. He likes it all even, cut down to a two. Keeps that darkness look, but also keeps it nice and short so it lasts him, you know, until his next haircut. Make sure to comb through the hair. 
Now we're fading the beard. So same step, start with the half guard closed and go in about, you know, quarter inch to half inch guideline, open up a little bit more, and open up all the way. And after that, we'll go over to our one guard, closed, halfway, and then all the way open. As you can see, it's pretty much all blended out. I like to, you know, line it up like always, just so I can really see where the dark spots are. And you know, you see some around the ear area. You wanna make sure you're always dusting off your client, blow drying them, make sure they're all clean. Cause you know, you don't want hair on your face or on your ears and things like that. So make sure you always dust them, make sure they're feeling comfortable when they're in the chair. Now go ahead and go back to the clipper closed, halfway and then all the way open. So same steps, the system does not change. You do the same thing for the beard, for the haircut, just doing some detail work. This beard fade was actually, you know, a lot lower. You can see I put the ball guideline around the mid ear to where the earlobe is uh, compared to, you know, a normal beard tape would be around the top of the ear. Detailing is going to be the biggest key in getting that blurry or flawless fade. The system is good just to get the rough draft and then after that you gotta detail. Detailing is key. So we'll move on to the next side. Hopefully you guys can follow along. I'm gonna stop talking and let you guys follow the, the system.
Now we're moving on to the back side. And always when I'm using the shaver, I like to rub my hand against the, the scalp, just to make sure I got it all completely bold. And then we're gonna be, you know, doing the same steps, clearing bulk with the one and a half guard, close. And this is actually the one and a half guard, not the one guard open, just to clarify. And usually, you see how I'm going on, you know, one side, then the other side, and the back. When I'm in the shop, I'm not usually fading like that. I usually go around the whole head, but just for, you know, tutorial reasons, teaching reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and break it down so you can see it three different times and really hone in and break, you know, understand what I'm doing. So we went back to the half guard closed, then, you know, opened halfway and then completely opened. And usually the back of the head is more dense. So whatever you do on the sides, on the back, you're probably gonna go up a little bit higher just so you get that even blend. Because the back is usually around, you know, the sides where the head's starting around, it's usually more dense and you have to go a little bit higher just to get it nice and even. Now, you know, we're back to the one guard. And right here, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm going off the head. So I'm saying, don't do this. Don't dig in with the clipper go off the head have that you know fluid motion coming off the head so you get a nice gradual blend okay you don't want to dig in because then you're going to create lines it's going to be hard to take out you're going to cut off hairs that you want to keep so make sure you're going off the head and here we're doing clipper over comb clipper over comb is the same thing you want to scoop in and then pull out and keeping it squared going off the head shape not digging in and as you can see, it's blending everything in. I'm pulling the hair down because this hair is going to be styled forward. So I'm pulling them down, just taking away all the excess bulk. Pretty much see the blend coming in. And then again, like I said, usually, you know, the one guard open will do most of the detail work. So you can just see those dark spots and picking out. And then blade completely closed again. And just working our way up. And don't be afraid to push up. Me, personally, when I was first cutting, I was always afraid to push up. It's just natural. The more reps you do, the more haircuts you do, the different type of haircuts you do, the different textures you cut, you'll, you know, gain that confidence. So don't be discouraged. Just know that it takes reps. I actually switched my clippers because my gamma trim clippers actually died. So I had to move over to my wall seniors. But yeah, don't be scared, you know. You gotta push up. Be confident in what you're doing. Lay down your foundation, lay down your steps so you know what you're blending into. And yeah, that's about it. The more reps you do it, it'll come. I'll be honest, like past six months to a year is when I really started honing in on my skills. Um, before I was like, man, like, you know, when some haircuts I would get good, some haircuts I wouldn't. But that's another thing, you know, not everyone has perfect hair. Not everyone has a perfect scalp. So you're gonna get those haircuts where you know, you go through your system, it looks all right, but it's not perfect, but there's so much you can do, you know? So now we're moving on to the beard. I'm gonna line up his mustache, pretty simple, just line it up above his lip. Now we're doing the bottom of the beard. I just showed you guys, I don't know if you guys saw, I put two fingers there just to see where to put the line exactly. He likes a, you know, not too low, but not too high. It's about mid, I would say. Two fingers is a good uh, rule of thumb and I'm just connecting it from both sides. I could tell this right side was dipped a little bit and you can see that I go in there, keep trying to touch it up, touch it up. Sometimes it's good to turn them towards the mirror and really look in there and see, okay, what side's dipping, what side's rounding. So you can really see from looking straight on on the right side, it's a little too low in here. I start picking at it, bring it up a little bit higher. usually a good rule of thumb to like you know check on both sides is how f low you're going from their jawbone so you can feel where their jawbone is you can usually put like a finger right there but like, all right it's about a finger width you put two fingers or you could go right on the jaw and then narrow it down or slant it down and i'm just going over with the shavers make sure you get it nice and bald And also, usually we trim the top down, but this time he wanted to leave the length on top, so there will be no scissor work. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and line up his beard using Barbon Shave Serum, applying you know a light layer where I'm gonna be lining up, and then go ahead and position them, stretch the skin. You don't have to stretch it too tight, but you do want it. You want to stretch, you know, a good amount, and then you just stretch it tight, and then make a straight line going down to you know the highest point. Of the mustache area and you know your first run through is usually just the rough draft it's not gonna be perfect and you're gonna stretch again and go at it again and pick out every hair and you want to you really use that corner of that blade so you can pick off each hair and get as straight as possible and we're gonna do the same thing on this side Right here, I like to go straight on with my client, put my fingers at where I have both points and see which side's higher or lower. I noticed the left side was a little bit higher, so I had to bring it down just a tad. Not really the whole beard, just the very corner of the beard where it's meeting the mustache. And just, you know, doing some detail work, you know, just balding them out a little bit more, getting extra crispy, and throwing in some enhancement just to enhance the cut. Not to hide anything. Lines were sharp. You can see, I didn't even put it in his beard. You can see how sharp his beard looks right here. That fade's popping too. He's got dope hair. Dope beard, dope hair. Super thick hair. Curls on top. It's not too curly right now. It's kind of wavy because his hair is shorter. But when you did have his hair longer, he's got some nice curls on top. Going against the grain. Just to make sure, you know, last him that extra day or two. <laughs> if he's lucky. Syrians, Indians, you got some thick beards, so after two days, you already see that stubble coming back. Now we're just doing detail work, scissor over comb, taking with those dark spots. That part here has got a little divot in his head, so you gotta go over that a little bit more just to make sure it looks even throughout the whole head. Doing some point cutting, and that's the cut. I'm gonna use some talc powder just to rub on the bottom of the fade, just to give it that extra pop. Make it look a little bit blurry, and that's the cut, YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just spraying some alcohol right here after. Throw the blow dry after, just so it doesn't sink too much. They like it, they enjoy it, but that's the cut. Fresh bald fade with a beard fade. Super sharp lines. Little wavy curls on the top. And yeah, subscribe, like, comment below.